Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Antonian 753 with the next episode of Pan Arabic Democracy. Uh, I made some sound adjustments throughout the week. I think uh, someone suggested that I turn down the microphone volume, so I turned that down about 10%. Let me know how it sounds. I also turned up the music volume slightly because I think some people wanted to hear more of the music. So that's the situation. And I sort of am a little bit further away from the microphone too. So let me know how it sounds, if it sounds good. Um, for the geopolitical situation, uh, we still have these two issues down here in uh, Riyadh and the capital of uh, Qatar, which are going to like hamper the whole series, basically. But um, I'm going to try to work around it. The conflict, there's a conflict. Oh, that conflict is between the Ukraine and the East Donbass free front. Uh, but the major conflict in the world at this time is between Russia and Japan. And we do have an alliance with Japan, but I do not want to go to war with Russia. i rather have better relations with Russia. And the reason being is because Russia is a Security Council member. And I do have some information that I've discovered through my foreign intelligence services about uh, several countries in the Persian Gulf. Bahrain and uh, United Arab Emirates have secretly purchased nuclear weapons and we've discovered that so we're gonna use that to our geopolitical advantage and I'm going to try to get a UN mandate uh, against both of those countries Bahrain Bahrain I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. I'm going to take it out pretty soon. Um, this country has a U.S. naval base. It also has two army bases, one naval base, two oil fields, and one major city, their capital. Now, what they don't have is an airfield. So, <clears throat> once I, my strategy is, once I am able to get the UN mandate against them. Hopefully I can do it. I'm a little concerned about Russia and also China over there. Uh, they were not looking too favorable towards me. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going to stay out of the war with Japan and I'm going to not honor the alliance with the Japanese because I'm not going to war against a Security Council member because that'll just ruin all my objectives. Uh, so the plan would be to basically um, bombard these bases while I mobilize my troops in southern Iraq and once they're, to get, once they're together and organized I'm going to make sure I don't send any Kurdish troops because that's the reason why we have these two little screw-ups here um, and we'll send our entire force who are these guys? that's Kuwait Kuwaiti Navy sorry We'll send our entire force directly for the capital. And hopefully we can take out that pretty quickly. Elfions, how are you? Um, also, Amman has... We have information about Amman. That they are supporting different uh, terrorist organizations. So we're going to try to move up against them too. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. I do want this uh, conflict with Japan and Russia to resolve itself as quickly as possible. And I need to try to get in better relations with Japan and, or Russia and China, hopefully. Alright, we have a new contact in Jordan. And the economy is looking very well. Unemployment is at 4%. Haven't done anything yet, Elfion is just going over a uh, general strategic overview. And the plan is I'm definitely not going to intervene in this conflict, from what I said earlier. And I'm going to try to see, this, see if this conflict can resolve itself before I go before the UN Security Council. And then I'm going to use the information I have about Bahrain and 
the UAB to get mandates against them and try to take them out and hopefully grab some oil in the Persian Gulf. Twenty percent excess of the economy, or uh, oh, peace treaty. Hold on. Oh, this thing never works. And this thing, I'm. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that thing. All right, here we go. More information from Oman, Prime Minister. Proof that the Omani government sec secretly finances whatever freedom fronts terrorist attacks in Ethiopia. I have already communicated information to Secret Services, so we have them secretly funding a terrorist organization. National Television. Oh man, here we go. World War Three. United States is declaring war against Russia. Oh wow. Okay. I still don't want to get involved. Budget overview. For those of you who are interested, we do have a deficit. But we do not have a structural deficit. So, that's that. Is that the Bernie Sanders candidate? I don't think that is the Bernie Sanders candidate. I thought the Bernie Sanders was somebody else. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, let's check out. Let's keep, uh, keep an eye on this conflict over here. See who's winning. Russian tanks are moving in. Uh, attempt to eliminate Palestinian uh, head of government. What are they? They're authoritarian. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with my policy of spreading democracy, and we're going to take out these authoritarian dictators. And we're frozen on Sunday here. Russian armor is in northern Japan. I forgot the name of that island. More Russian armor on the way. I expect to see American units coming in pretty soon. Where is... Oh, there we go. We've taken out the uh, dictator. All right. There we go. Hopefully, democracy will now come to Palestine. OPEC. We're driving that price up. I think it was at like 33 or 34 to start at the beginning of this series. <laughs> Good point, Elfians. Two agents arrested in Algeria. Bummer. Existential crisis for the foreign minister. I don't need that. Alright, the Russians are moving into northern Japan. I really want this conflict to end before I go before the UN. And I'm frustrated that my relations with China are not improving because I've really had... I was hoping that oil contract would improve relations. This guy again. This is never going to end. I'm just going to... Uh-oh. Salary increase for staff. This could be an issue. Let's just check this out. 
Staff is losing patience. Uh, that's an interesting strategy, Elfions, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be that diabolical just yet. Blowing up nuclear plants in China and then sending them aid. <laughs> it's very diabolical. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm there yet. Alright, so there's an issue with the salary here. For Minister for Education, Minister for Education, Minister for Health, Minister for Labor. Saudi Arabia, attempt to eliminate head of state in Saudi Arabia. Sure, let's do that too. Let's take on another head of state. They are also not democratic, so we're going to knock them out as well. And I don't know if that's actually helping or not. Industrial sabotage in progress. Industrial espionage. Ah, I do want that. I definitely want industrial espionage. Existential crisis for the Minister of Health. Irre irrevocable resignation for the Minister of... Education. This seems to be like a lot to manage. Civil servants. <clears throat> I probably could up some salaries here. This doesn't seem like a lot of money. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm just going to go ahead and give him a little bit of money. 300 million. That's not a lot. Maybe that'll improve things. Prevent problems from uh, occurring before they do. Yeah, I guess that's what I thought. So I guess I should just raise taxes now, since they're so happy. What tax should I add? Another value added tax? That would really uh, stimulate the uh, our income there. Three billion dollars. Let's take a poll. People are gonna be mad. But we did just increase salary. And then maybe I'll cut the income tax. Add that. I forgot what tax bill I'm on here. I'm just going to call it... Tax Reform... 2017. All right, let's create that reform. And income tax, lower bracket. Oh, that's too much money. Cancel that. I'm going to see what type of hit I take on this. Corporate taxes, that's a good idea. Company tax. That's less than a billion. But everyone likes it, so let's go ahead and attach that to the bill. Okay. When are those things going to be passed? Laws in progress, they'll be passed uh, by the end of May. Ramadan, that's, that'll be good for... Uh, 
Got to show up for that. That always boosts the uh, popularity a little bit, and even though there was no impact from those taxes. Failed assassination attempt. Oh, boy. And the guy was caught red-handed. Saudi, Saudi authorities cannot trace him back to us, though, so we're good. All right, what is going on with this conflict here? What is it? Oh, wow, look at all this. There's a lot more than you can see from the larger screen. Available position. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, I do want you to fill the position for me. And the price of oil has gone up to $37. Beautiful. This conflict is... This is mayhem. Syrian network approaching a terrorist group. Syrian Brethren of Islam. We'll support them, actually. I'm going to give them some money. Or no, I'll probably just give them rifles and stuff like that. Industrial espionage. Let's go for some more of that. Uh, we got to unpause this. All these ministers. I have like the worst ministers. Lots of Russian airstrikes going on here. Literacy, huh? I'm not worried too much about improving the society. I think I'm going to try to maintain finances for now. And try to cut down on the debt. And once I have a surplus, then I'm going to work on improving the society. I don't know if I need corporate donations for a while. Let's see. Businessman. Right wing businessman seems pretty happy. The left wing does not. So I'll go ahead and meet with him. See if I can get a uh, donation. Who do we got here? Algerian Network. Confidential information. They are secretly funding communists in the Philippines. Aha! That is another cause for war that we can use. And I gotta slow this down. Hold on, there's a lot of meetings. Alright, first meeting, we're gonna meet with the Syrian Brethren of Islam. We're gonna give them 2,000 assault rifles. You're welcome. That's all you're going to get for now. Uh, setting an example, filmmaker. They want me to decrease my salary. Get out of here. I'm not going to do that. Right wing billionaire. Offer him coffee. Sure. Dark and, strong, please. and I don't want him to speak for me. But I do want him to illegally fund my party. Yeah. That should hold me over for a while, because I think we already have a lot of money. The stream keeps freezing again. I'm sorry. I don't know how to deal with the stream. Free I can see how it's not uh, looking good right now. Sometimes if I refresh, I'm probably going to end this uh, episode. And then maybe I'll see if I can do stuff. A million dollars. Um, attempt to eliminate the head of government in Algeria. Yeah, I don't think they are a democracy either, right? Are they a republic, socialist? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to refuse for now. And um, we've got information on Algeria. So we can uh, use that to our advantage later. Alright, so this has been 20 minutes for the first episode. I'm going to put a cut here. And I'm going to try to refresh the screen. The stream. And I'm also... So thank you for watching on YouTube.